Hello, this is Jay with American Interactive Training, back again to look at another interesting option you can use with Windows 7 and 2008 R2 server. What we're going to look at today is installing the WinPE environment into a bootable VHD. Uh, WinPE is a command shell environment that's usually used for recovery and deployment options, and a lot of times it's accessed through removable media such as USB or the installed DVD. Having it installed locally in a bootable option is nice in certain cases if you need quick access to the PE environment or don't have your removable media to access it. Installing it in a VHD is, as, is nice as well because it allows an easy way of deploying a bootable WinPE environment to multiple machines. So to get started here, first thing we're going to need to do is actually create a VHD. And to do this, open up a command prompt, run this part, and then inside this part, we're going to create a virtual disk, specify the location of the file itself. You can name this, of course, whatever you want to. The type of this disk is going to be a fixed size VHD because we don't need it to expand at all, and it doesn't need to be a big uh, VHD. So we're going to specify the maximum size as just one gig. So this should go through and create the VHD. Relatively quick process because it's a pretty small disk. Alright, once that's done, we don't need disk part anymore, so we can exit out of that, close the command prompt, and we need to mount this virtual hard drive file now. So we're going to open up control panel, which we need to get access to my administrative tools, specifically computer management. Inside computer management, what we actually need to use is disk management to mount the VHD. So when I right click on disk management, I see this option to attach VHD. The VHD that I want is the one that I just created on my D drive, that's winpe.vhd. I don't want it read only, I want to be able to apply an image to this, so we're going to make sure I do not select the read only option and hit OK. Now when I do this, I'll see the new disk show up inside disk management is currently not initialized, so we need to initialize the disk, default options are fine, and create a new volume so I can apply an image to this disk. Now everything here defaults will work perfectly fine, but we're going to change this to the W drive just for logical association. Hit next, hit finish. And we're done. So we have a W drive now for my uh, WinP image that I'm about to apply to it. So I can close out computer management. Now for the image that we're actually going to be applying, you need to have the Windows Automated Installation Kit installed. So the Windows Automated Installation Kit by default is installed on my C drive inside the Program Files folder in the Windows AIK. Now, what we're going to use to install the image is the ImageX executable. And in this case, I'm installing a 32-bit image, so it's in the x86 folder. If you were installing a 64-bit version or the Nitanium version, you'd need one of the other folders. The image we're actually going to be installing is in the PE Tools folder, specifically again in x86, because it's going to be the 32-bit image, and specifically winpe.wim. So, to make my life easy, because I'm going to use the ImageX executable out of this x86 folder, I'm going to hold down the Shift key, right click, and say Open Command Prompt here. Otherwise, I have to type in this wonderful path. Now, I'm going to type in ImageX, and also to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to copy the path to the WinPE image that I want. And then when I need to enter the path to the image, I can just paste most of the path there and then specify the winpe.wim, which makes my life just a little bit easier. Less typing is always better. <clears throat> so we're going to apply this to the W drive. I'm going to run the verify option. And WinPE or ImageX starts applying the WinPE image to my drive. Now, this should be pretty quick. It's a relatively small image. It's just expanding and applying it to a VHD file as we speak.
All right, now that that's done, what we need to do is edit the boot configuration database on the machine so the machine knows that this is going to be another bootable option. So when I start the machine, I'll see Windows 7 as well as a WinPE environment to boot into. To do this, we're going to edit the boot configuration database using the BCD edit command. Now, if I just run BCD edit as it is to take a look at the current boot configuration database, we'll see one main entry, and that is for the current Windows 7 installation. What we want to do is add a new entry. So we're going to run BCD edit, and we're going to copy the current configuration into a new option named WinPE. And what this does is create this whole wonderful global unique identification number for the new entry in the boot configuration database. Now to make my life a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is mark this option and actually copy it. So the last thing I really want to have to do is enter that big wonderful pile of crap every single time we're referencing that global unique number. So now that I've copied that, we're going to run BCD edit again. This time with the set option, and this is where my paste comes in. So now I actually have the uh, global unique identification number in there as easily as possible. We need to specify the device that we're booting to here, which is going to be a VHD file specifically on the D drive as winpe.vhd. Everything looks good. Hit enter. Operation completed successfully. We also need to specify the operating system device, again, as winpe.vhd. Everything else stays the same, so just hit the up arrow, scroll back, put OS in front of it, hit enter. Everybody's happy. The last thing we need to do is tell the machine that this is a WinPE environment. So we're going to run BCD edit again, specify the global unique identification number, and specify that WinPE variable equals yes. Plan to be successfully. And one last time, we'll run BCD edit. Take a look at this new entry we just entered into the boot configuration database, which is specifying the name of WinPE, the location of the device is the VHD file, the operating system again, the VHD file, and it is a WinPE environment. So I'm done here. Uh, what I can actually do now is reboot the machine and on the boot up menu we should see a new option to boot into WinPE. Give it a second we'll see what we get. All right, now what we see here is uh, WinPE as an option so we're going to select it, hit enter, let it start up. All right, and that's really it. The WinP environment is nothing fancy. It's a command shell environment that allows you to do some basic repair options uh, and network options if necessary. As long as the WinP environment has the necessary drivers, you'll see that we do actually have an IP address. I have network connectivity here. So if I wanted to download files, if I wanted to move information off of this machine, if I couldn't get into the OS and before I do a restore, I want to move some data off of it, that's an option. There's a lot of uh, commands here that you can use to actually help fix the machine if necessary. Uh, we got a lots of basic options here. So it's just a, a basic recovery environment to try to help either deploy information or uh, repair information on a machine. So uh, now this VHD that we're booting from, again, the nice thing about it is I can take this VHD file, which is just a WinPE environment, and then put it on lots of other machines or any other machine in my environment and configure them to boot from it. Uh, we'll talk about deploying VHD to new computers later. Um, so until then, hope you enjoyed, and this was uh, helpful to you. Talk to you later.